Hey guys, welcome to another video. So as promised, today we're looking at electric potential and we're doing some calculations based on our equations that we used yesterday, right? So the first question involves this diagram here and we're asked to find the electric potential due to the two charges Q1 and Q2 at points A and at point B, right? So we know that Q at A, the, sorry, the V, the potential at A, is the sum of the potential due to Q1 and Q2. So we know that V is equal to KQ over R, right? So we have the Ks, which is 9 times 10 to the 9, and we have the Q, the charges. Now note there that the charge sign is actually used, right? So in electric potential, we keep the sign right? But in electric field strength, we don't keep the sign. So that's important. So field, so potential, we keep the sign, right? So Q1 is a negative 5, Q2 is a positive 5, right? So we keep the signs, right? We substitute those in our values. The distances of Q1 is 6 centimeters. We divide it by 100 to get in meters. And R2 is 30 centimeters. We divide by 100 to get 0 0.30, right? So our final answer is 7.5 times 10 to the 5 volts, right? And then for at point B, now we notice at point B that the base between Q1 and Q2 are split equally between by point B. So that means if B to Q1 is 40 centimeters, then B to Q2 is also 40 centimeters, right? And we know that the charges are the same value, but they're different sign. So because everything is the same except the sign, then we add in the same number plus the negative of the same number, and we get zero volts, right? So we note that if we have the same charges, right, and they are, and the point, so the same charge value, but different sign, and we're in the middle between both Electric charges, then the potential 40 volt per meter is desired between two power plates, zero volts. 11 so that's something apart. that you should be aware of. How large right? voltage should, should be applied? Question. So, so an action is we need to create a potential uh, electric field that is 640, right? And we need a voltage to do that. We have the distance that the plates are set, which is 11 millimeters, which we divide by 1,000 to get it in meters. So we substitute our values because we know that E equals V over D. E is 640 and the D is 0 0.011. So we cross multiply and multiply two numbers and we get the voltage to be 7.04 volts that we need. All right. So that was a simple one. All right. So let's go. Next question. She says the electric field between two power plates connected to a 45 volt battery is 1500 volts. How far apart are the plates? So in this case, we're finding D, right? So our E is 1,500. Our voltage V is 45. So we cross multiply and divide 45 by 1,500 to find D, which is 0 0.03 meters. All right, next question. What is the electric potential of 15 centimeters from a negative 4 micro Coulomb charge, right? So we're finding electric potential. So remember, we keep the sign of the charge. So we know K is 10 times 10, 9 times 10 to the 9, sorry. And Q is a charge, which is negative 4 times 10 to the negative 6, which is from micro, over the distance that is away from the charge, which is 15 centimeters. We change that to meters, so it's 0 0.15. And we get a potential, electric potential of negative 2.40 times 10 to the negative 5 volts. All right, so next question now. All right, so in this case, we have two similar charges of the same sign, right? And we have now a smaller charge with a different sign of negative 1.5 microcoulombs that's moving from point A to point B. And we're asked, what is the change in the potential energy, right? So the potential energy is given, right? So we're looking at potential energy between 
when it moves from A to point B. So we have to find it for A, find it for B, then we subtract to get what was the difference, right? So we do for point B first, or for A, doesn't matter, right? So for B, we have K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9, times the charge, right? which is negative, we, remember we keep the sign negative 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6 times the charge of one of the, the charges, outside charges, which is 33 times 10 to the negative 6 over the distance, which is 80, 80 centimeters, which we divide by 100, which is 0 0.18. Now, how do we get that, right? So remember we're doing that point B, right? So that 18 comes from the left-hand side, right? So we notice from the negative, from the 33 micro coulomb to point B on the left hand side, there's no distance there. But if we connect those points, we get a right angle triangle, which is the hypotenuse. So if we find this using Pythagoras theorem, so the square root of 12 squared plus 14 squared, right, we get 18. And that's centimeters, so we divide by 100 to get in meters, right? And then on the right side now, the same thing applies. We have 14 and 24, we square those, add them, and find the square root, so we get 28, right? And then we divide by 100 to get it in meters, right? So for the, the right-hand side, we have K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9, times the charge, negative 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6, times the 33 times 10 to the negative 6, right? So when we add those, that's the electric um, potential, that's the potential energy, sorry, for at point A, right? And we get negative 4.07 joule. And for B, right, so sorry, for A, right, now we have the length, so we don't have to calculate the length, right? So from A to the left charge is 12 centimeters, from A to the right charge is 24 centimeters, so we just convert those to meters, right? And we substitute the values again, so the only thing changes between B and A would be the distances, right? And we get B to be negative 5.57 Joule, right? So now we have A and we have B, so therefore the, the net potential energy is B minus A, right? So we get, because it's moving from A to B, so it's B minus the A, there's negative 5.57 minus minus the 4.07 and we get the negative 1.5 joule. So that negative in our final answer tells us that this is work done against the system, right? So the negative in the energy means that we're going against the electric field. All right, so let's move to the next question, which is our last question. So in this case, we have two charges on the left hand side, Q1 and Q2. Q1 is negative 1.5 microcoulombs, Q2 is a positive 3.3 microcoulombs, right? And we need to find the potential difference between point A and point B, which is on the right. So the potential difference, which is your electric potential, which is KQ over R, right? So we're finding it for point A, right? And at point A, it will be affected by Q1 and also Q2. So Q1 is 0 0.10 meters away from A, while Q2, right, again, if we make a line from Q2 to point A, we get a right angle triangle. So we can find the square root of 0 0.10 squared plus 0 0.10 squared, and we get 0 0.14 for the distance between Q2 and A. Right? So we substitute our values, so Q1 is negative 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6 over the distance, which is 0 0.10, plus the K, 9 times 10 to the 9, times Q2, which is positive 3.3 times 10 to the negative 6 over the distance, it's away from A, which is 0 0.14. Right? So we get the potential at A to be 77,142.86 voltage. Right? And then we do the same for B, right? So in this case now, Q2 is 0 0.10 meters away from B, and Q1, again, if we make the line from Q1 to B, we get a right angle triangle, it's the same signs, so therefore the distance between Q1 and B is 
0.14, right? So in this case, Q1, Q1 distance R is 0.14, Q2 is 0 0.10, right? And we substitute the Q values and K, so we get VB to be 200,571.43 volts, right? And remember, we find a difference between the voltage, so we so V would be VB minus VA, right? So in that case, we get minus in both answers, we get 1,123,428.57 volts, right? And that's how we would find the difference between point A and point B electric or potential difference. All right, so hope you guys understand and learn something using our formulas from electric field, right? I hope you will end. All right, guys, so I hope you guys understand something from our electric field calculations today and see you guys next time. Thank you.